All right, Buck Junkies, let me show you what's in this pot. We got it full of some Deer Camp Dirty Rice. Gonna show you what we do to make this. Let's go. All right, so we're cooking in our Mickwear pot. Got a half a stick of butter. We're gonna get it melted, and right before it browns, that's when we'll put our deer meat in. All right, so our butter's starting to brown. We got one pound of ground deer with no fat, and then we have one pound of our ground deer sausage. Kinda let this get broke up, start browning it. So we got one pound of chicken livers. Now what I did, I dumped them out in a strainer and rinsed them off, and then I took a knife and just kinda broke them up, chopped them up real fine. That way the dissolve break down a lot easier. Can't have dirty rice if it ain't dirty. So the first thing we're gonna put in as far as seasoning goes is a little bit of country sausage seasoning. We're just gonna add about a tablespoon and a half just to bring out some of those sausage flavors, add a little bit of kick, add a lot of savory flavor. So you can tell this meat's starting to brown down. We're gonna turn the heat up just a little bit, let it continue to cook, kinda wanna dry it out just a little bit, then we'll get our vegetables in. For our vegetables, I'm cheating. I'm using the old Cajun style mix out of the frozen food section. It's got all your onions, bell peppers, celery, we're gonna put two pounds of it in there. So we got a little bit of garlic paste. We're gonna put two good squirts in here. Gotta have that garlic. Next up, we're gonna lightly season it, a little bit of king crow. We're gonna season it again after we get our rice and everything cooked, but this is just kind of the start. So we got all our ingredients cooked down. I have three cups of rice. Now I've washed this rice. This is just a little bit more than one pound. I'm gonna go in our mixture. I'll let this go just a few minutes before we add our chicken broth. Now we're gonna add our chicken stock. And to know how much liquid we have to add for this, old Cajun trick I heard on a podcast, you're gonna go to the first joint of your finger. I'm just gonna stick the finger in it, it needs just a touch more. So I'm not quite to my first joint. Add just a little bit more broth and we'll be good to go. So we brought our broth to the boil. I'm gonna go ahead and put the lid on it and then back our heat down just to a low simmer and set a timer for 25 minutes. All right, grand reveal. Dirty rice been cooking for 25 minutes. As you can tell, we done cooked the moisture out. Rice is starting to get tender. We're just gonna come in here and fluff it just a little bit, get it mixed around. And to really bring all these flavors together, we got a little golden mushroom soup. You can use cream of mushroom, cream of chicken, whatever you'd like. Got a good rice to meat ratio. That's how I like it. All right, our dirty rice has been steaming for about 30 minutes. Now it's time to give it a good fluff one more time until it's absorbed all that liquid. The rice ends are starting to split. You know that rice is cooked perfectly. Of course, you gotta try it to make sure you got the seasoning right. Get a little spoonful. It's pretty dang good, but it needs just a bump more. So we're just gonna lightly season it. It don't need a lot, you just need a little bit of salt. Now it's time to get this bowled up. Now if that ain't good looking dirty rice, I don't know what is. Let's see if we've done it right. That right there keep you warm this winter. That's good eats. <laughs>